The big matchup between Zimbabwe football giants Highlanders and Dynamos has come up and played and won up by Highlanders in a duel that saved the big crowd with three goals to mark the beginning of a season that promises all ingredients you can expect of Zimbabwe football at its best. As expected, the fans came from all walks of life and with excitement rising to fever pitch, you could not deny that this was Zimbabwe football's biggest match. Highlanders is a national institution and this is why you are seeing a Everyone, all offices are here in Bulawayo solely because Highlanders is playing and they are playing dynamos. It was a game attracting all and sundry and believe it or not, there were some like 91-year-old Mazani Moyo, grandfather to Dynamo midfielder Adam Osiwa, whose superstitions foretold the eventual winner of the game. <laughs> Superstitions aside, the match finally got underway and Dynamo scored Poso on the back foot as early as the sixth minute after Frederick Pochoy's through baller set Valentine Cardonzo loose but Enrumbeva was quick to intercept with a timely tackle. Highlander Sult opened the scores 20 minutes into the match after Melika Angube picked up position on the edge of the box, got brave to sell his marker a dummy before letting fly a rising shot that settled at the top corner of the net. It was 1-0. Having tested blood, the Highlanders wanted more and they could have made it too after Mason Mushore's cross from the left was headed onto Brighton Nube whose volley rose into the Soweto stands. All along, Dynamos were being restricted to distant attempts that really never troubled Ariel Sivanda, the Highlanders keeper. Boso could have taken a two-goal lead to the breaker but promising reason Sivanda's shot in the box was well dealt with by Dynamos keeper Prince Tafre Muta. 1-0 to Highlander set the break and just a minute into the second half, Brighton Nube came close with his rising shot that flashed across the face of goal. Two minutes later, Highlanders were on cloud nine after Ashford Fire latched onto a loose ball in the box to sneak home up also second and victory looked certain. It was only after the second Highlanders goal that Dynamos finally woke up from their slumber and you could tell what Issa Sadiki was attempting to do when he placed his shot marginally wide of Errol Svanda's left hand post. It was game on on the 60th minute as Dynamos pulled the one back through Alexander Mandinyanya and suddenly the complexion of the game changed. Realizing potential to rescue the match from the jaws of defeat, Timbare pressed forward and Boso have Enrumbeva to thank for his timely intervention of Emmanuel Jalai's cross. Boso fans had to enjoy a nail-biting finish and suddenly Yuri Koba also produced another anxious moment with a well-struck shot from the edge of the box that Errol Sibanda tipped away for a corner. Great relief for the multitude of Highlanders supporters that had come to rally their team when referee Brighton Chimene blew for full time and Highlanders had done it. Coach Kelvin Kaindu's desire to reward the Boso family with a much sought victory coming full circle and what a way to start his second stint as Highlanders coach than with a win over his biggest rivals. We say even among us ourselves that uh, uh, guys let's make our fans happy today and let them go back home celebrating and we just hope that they are going back celebrating. Sweet as the victory may sound, Kaindu was not getting carried away and the win over Dynamos is now water under the bridge. This is history. Yes, it has given us three points, but there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. Dynamos coach Genesis Mangombe was disappointed with his team's defending, but accepted it as part of consequences that come when a team rebuilds. It's a game of football. You have mistakes. You have to correct and move forward. Uh, we're now looking for the next assignment. And uh, this one is water under the bridge and it's a learning curve uh, trying to introduce new players and everyone. Uh, the good thing is that uh, we are not playing bad. We are, we are playing very well, uh, save for those, for those silly goals. The match done and dusted without incident. The celebrations went long into the night and no one could afford to miss the icing on the cake of such a sweet victory. Long-time Boso benefactor, retired Colonel Chingadube, was also part of the get-together after the match to celebrate the memorable win. Ah, it's very exciting. Very exciting indeed. It's a big present for the uh, soccer fans of Bulawayo. Uh, you see, this game has been very, very exciting. A lot of people have been waiting for it for a long time. So it came and it gave us what we expected. Indeed, the Highlanders people are happy. Their new coach delivered as per promise. And believe it, some of them are just wish their next game were against Dynamos again. I'm here because uh, this is back of Zimbabwe part one. See, we need it. Now, Swazile says that Linda in second leg. Oh, I'm on the Swazile. 2-1 win to Highlanders then and is this the beginning of good things to come? Should the fans start counting another incredible run that may lead the team to glory or is it just another full stone? Maybe for now they deserve their place in the sun and let them enjoy the fun whilst it lasts. For the Premier Soccer League at Papafield Stadium in the Bulawayo, I'm Tandazani Zimbran.